Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spraggy TV. What a joy it is to have you. Let's start shortly. So good luck, everybody. I'm not clicking anywhere today except on the button. We're all in, mate. We're all in with King Queen. Go ahead and call it if you don't believe it. Let's see that King Jack suited. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm all in in the saloon and called. God, I'm King Jack suited. We got the double up in the marathon. We're calling all in with King Queen. We're not going to win this one. For the night. Sorry, my friend. No slow roll arena. I was dealing with a cat in a bin. The cat is not in the bin. The cat was in the bin. Trying to get that chicken from last night that I had out of the bin. Causing me hassle. I think if we bet here, we bet big. And I, th I think we do get some bets given that we're going to be able to bet more when, there's, uh, when we're from under the gun and our opponent is all the way over here in the cutoff. I really don't mind my hand in terms of using it as a bluff. I do block this two pair ace eight suited. Um, that's a lie. I don't because I've got clubs. So that's just a straight up lie. And I do have equity to improve, as you can see. And look at that. We triple off the king eight. Boom. We've we got 11 BBs. Yep. We're ahead. Let's hold another one in the marathon. Another 15K. Where's Grog today? Grog! You wouldn't believe it. King on the turn. You wouldn't believe it. Maybe we'll win the marathon today so we can get a nice uh, 22 blinds, kink we know. Ah, man, people just aren't jamming wide enough really, are they? 10. But they are, so I call and then they punish me for 36,000 chips. Great game. Great game. I was like, I don't know. I mean, people don't jam wide enough and they blind, but it's like, I don't, I've never really played with this guy. It seems like he's playing some, you know, a reasonable amount of hands. Probably does jam wide enough. I will call. What should be a pretty easy call. Has a king 10. Nice jam. Hits a 10. Very sad. 22 of 62. Maybe I won't win the marathon today, but maybe I will. That's the joy of the stream, folks. We never really know. There's no way of knowing which way the stream is going. And that's me uh, playing in the marathon where we lost the big one. King, queen against king 10. So we're 35 paid today. 32 of 68. Yep. Yes, please. It's a real banger. And we got an all in. I'm all in. Yep, that's me. And a great start. And a great conclusion it will be. And we've got the 10 and the 10 in the marathon. Min raising off 14, 15 from the money. I'm all in. I'd like to play my, my entire stack, please. I'd like to play my chips. Jobsters, how are you? It's been a while, but happy to watch my favorite poker player not named Lex. Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Homero Camargo says, I was talking to my grandma earlier today about poker and she told me a story about a friend's father who lost a whole farm playing poker. Who lost a whole farm? What, playing poker? Chet ra he chet raised the three barns and got called. Bella backs you with the three bet against this. This is awkward, man. Okay, I guess. I mean, this this strikes me as like a range that can definitely be small and trapping and then Bella backs his three bet. But I think I want to play any other way. All right, that's very good for us. Huge part, by the way, in the marathon. Huge one. Whoa! Maybe Bella Baxi tries to ISO like 8s and 9s against the 14 blinds or something. I think that's pretty reasonable. We jam the 10s. You guys enjoy that, yeah? We're in the money in the marathon. In fact, I'm second in chips. Valley betting against pretty Vinny. Winner, winner. I'm chip leader in the marathon. 26 left. What's up top? Give me first place. 1.8k? Give me that. Get my buy-ins back from the 530s. In the marathon, I got 3 bet and I called. Uh, they folded when I shoved these king. They three bet me. I call that position with jacks. I raise flop, I guess, and shove. There should be three bet bluffing some nine x suited pre flop. Obviously, we're gonna have queens plus, but we might even see three bet and tens. I don't know. I'm all in with jacks here. Okay. Not sure about this flat. Sixes probably. Fives eh. Fours no. Problem is, it won't be opening like ace, deuce, ace, three suited. Shouldn't be. So like our deuces and our threes, you know, obviously bad because like always dominated. But sometimes if they open ace, four, ace, five, then, you know, as our pairs clip up, then they do a little bit better. I don't think we're completely unconcerned about getting check raised here. So maybe some check in. Obviously less so in the 55 marathon. And now a, a big bet turn. A very big bet turn. I'm going to call. Once I check back, I'm going to call one with the sixes. Sixes definitely moves down in my range now, in a sense that I make some flushes. I have a lot of suited ace and then some Broadway clubs, so I, I don't think now sixes is a hand that I, I need to call. We will show it down, and we will win. 
I believe that we will win. This is definitely a spot where we we're like way more happy, maybe betting our sixes. Got a lot of a in our flat. We're not gonna, you know, we're, we're very easily defending against the Cherries with a lot of very, very strong hands still. So I don't mind having a little bet with sixes. Maybe we can deny some equity. Turns the queen. Uh, I think our hand is just like worth very little. If, you know, close to nothing. They're still gonna check all some better over pairs than me. And improve on this sometimes with king queen or something. Still have some weaker ace We'll hit him with a check. It is a river that uncaps me. I will have tens here. I will have flushes here. I will have king jack here. I'm somewhat tempted to bluff because I think we lose to like sevens and eights a lot. And maybe like king ten, but... I think it's a bad check. I mean, we beat this. I think it's a bad check, though. I think maybe I should be bluffing this hand. My range is very narrow flying, and everything else I have is more content to show down almost. Maybe I should bluff from these sixes. In the marathon, check, check on the flop. We're going to check again with sevens. Still just being a lot of broadways. Jack tens, queen jack, queen ten, nine ten, seven eight. Ace five, ace jack, ace nine, ace eight, all these hands. I do expect some kings checking back the flop. Not a lot of six X in the pre-flop range. I'm gonna stick around with sevens. Full highs. I wonder now if like we just lead small and try and get called by an ace. Probably not a thing in theory, but I think very under bluffed, but probably like over called when I block. So there definitely could be some merit to that. My opponent checks back jack nine of diamonds for the, the flush draw. All right, we're gonna call nines all in here. Uh, we got a 16 blind shove of the marathon and they have kings. That's a very sad cooler for 16 BBs in a five-handed, uh, six-handed poker game here. What can you do? Billy Chongo, how are you? Thank you for the seven months. Good luck, Spraggy. Thank you, mate. We could do with some of that right now. We could do with some of that. We've got four tables left, and we're down a lot of chunk of change. We had a really nice stack in this bat but a 162 as well, until we ran into just quite an unbelievable cooler. Don't imagine I'm ready to fold an ace and an eight. In a limped pot here. Against the salmon. I have the jack and the eight. Very cool. I would rather do some cash game content that's like higher stakes and against people. You know. It's good. Uh, higher stakes and against people, you know, like, I don't know, against Parker or Lex or Sam or someone like that. Or Finton, you know. More so than just like grinding 50 cent a dollar or a dollar, two dollar. Ah, we just got such a great hand here. It's unbelievable, really. Board where it's easy, very easy for us to find check raises as well. Around straight draws, flush draws. Do sex hands and four X hands if we have them. Probably don't have that much like bear do sex, but it's unfortunate. I'm probably dunking this into originally spot and steal, aren't I? I think so, yeah. Pretty happy to. Alright. Nine danker. Justice, I guess. No final table bubble. Ten on the turn, ace on the river, justice is restored. Maybe then. Queens against ace ten jack. Nope. Okay, so just a redistribution of chips. The queens will find a double up. And we are still 10 left. Pretty Vinny is the shortest stack in the game right now. Over here, Winnie the Pooh. We'd raise call 14 big blinds against Pretty Vinny. For sure. With Ace Jack. This would put a... This is kind of cat amongst the pigeons, but it's a very quick call. I don't imagine... I don't imagine they play many better calls than Ace Jack. Like Ace Queen and Ace King or Queens Plus don't really flat here, I don't think. I think the Happy Salmon seems to be playing lots of... Lots of pots in general. Siglo 6, thank you for the 68 months. My goodness. My goodness me, Siglo 6. 68 months. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. I'm just going to bet and deny equity here, I think. I think the Happy Salmon's pretty wide. Force is pretty Vinian with a lot of suited wide shit. I think I'll just have a bet. Pretty pretty happy, honestly, with a jack on the turn. Hard not to be. The Happy Salmon probably quite, you know, 10x dense, maybe some pairs. It's a bit of an odd lead, isn't it? I'm not really sold on it. Maybe I just keep the range wide. I do have the ace of hearts. I'm not really worried about too many backdoor flush flushes. Okay, cool. Nice. Huge pot. We are all in stitches. Don't imagine with the, uh, in this ICM situation that tens is gonna do anything with the two big stacks and short stacks in this game that we just, we don't really three bet here with this hand. Calling looks good to me. What the joke? I'm going to get a value bet in at the river and get paid by sevens and eights and nines and fives and maybe some ace highs. I'm going to treat myself. Not even treat myself if they check. I'm very happy to value bet. If they bet, I'll call, I guess. Yeah, sure. There we go. Nice. Of the daily marathon, we are no longer in the money. Well, that's not necessarily true because we are in the money, but we're also on the final table. The last dance. Let's go. And we'll turn it pink. This is your final table of the marathon. We got some pets coming in from the great P. Zogler as well. Thank you for that, my friend. So we're two of nine. $267 locked up from 55 bucks. Who do we know on the final table? We know Connor, of course. Was just in uh, Galway with Connor at the Irish Poker Open. 
where I came 17th in the main event out of 660 runners or something. Three and a half grand, shaking my head. Four blinds left and raised. Did they? Or did they limp? Or what's going on here? I missed it. Maybe Connor raised and they just called. Who's to say? The Happy Solomon's having a good time on the FT. Oh, yeah. Played a lot of the 530 entries today. Did not cash at all. Played some 215 satellites and other 215s and shit. No caches. A big part of that. 140k. Happy Salomon's now all in. We see a 10% block at the river. Uh, I'm not sure how appropriate this is going to be in a spot where Connor has Ace King and Amin Azira just called in the big blind. Connor has pocket queens and Ace King in their range that Amin Azira doesn't. So I don't know. 10%. Maybe you just get punished. Maybe Connor finds some shoves. Yeah, go on then. Felt like it, didn't it? Queen Jack. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. Two eliminated. Three of seven. It's all going off. That is up to $419 on the FT with Kings against Ace King. Dick Rockhard with the Kings. We are down to six. Big all in on the FT. Ace deuce against sixes. Ace deuce off against sixes. I mean, sure. We're down to five. Never felt this way. Ding, 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 ding. What a flop. Ooh, what a catch. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? You're a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Give me all your chips. Why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Come back. With the presence of this deuce, I get to do some bang. This is a very nice hand for me to bet, actually. I would say. Eh, I mean, may maybe ace of hearts. Aren't we? We're betting this lot. We're betting this hand. We're betting this hand. We're barreling this turn. And then when the river's a heart, we're all in. Well, I won't be shoving now, will I? And a repeat queen is probably not a card I'm going to bluff. Not with the ace of hearts either. The ace of hearts now is the clean fold, isn't it? The ace of hearts is what we want them to have in fold. Good day, sir. I'm talking queen high. Um. Hmm. Dick rock hard. Holy moly. That's a very quick lot. Very quick and large check raise, isn't it? I bet because of the deuce, it gives them fewer two pair combinations, obviously. Yeah. Pretty good turn for me. I would have. <laughs> uh. All in. I mean, I guess I fold. Like, I don't know. Maybe they just shove, like, King X of Hearts, though. You know, maybe they just have, like, Ace X of Hearts or King X of Hearts. I mean, they're telling me they have Queen 10, right? Maybe deuces, but they don't have queen deuce. They don't have ten deuce. I I say it was a good turn for me because like I have queen jack, I have ace king, I have pocket jacks. Maybe I check. I have uh, you know a lot of good hands here. Maybe they check raise king queen. Maybe they they probably three bet ace queen. But like if they just shove ace four of hearts, then I'm I'm doing pretty well. And they've been very aggro. Old Dick Rockard, aren't they? And I do have a nine if they have queen ten. You know like some outs. Ugh. I really don't feel like I'm ever just like obviously I don't really feel like I'm ever dead. We block king nine. When they just jam the turn, I do think they do. I do think they play like queen ten like that. I also feel like they might just play all their flush draws out too. You know, maybe I'm just like last of the true punters calling off here. I think they just have like king four hearts as well. You know. All right, you got queen ten. You got me. As expected. Ship leader. Good. Good. But the the price of being wrong is just way too high. Probably sizing up a little bit on Queen 10 6, more so than like Queen 10 Deuce. Because there's a little bit of interaction here around the 7 and the 8, and a few more straight draws. That... More threats to our nuts, you know? More threats to the nuts. Good turn for some of the hands in my range. I remember when I barreled before and they called 9s. I think I'm just going to bet Ace Queen again. Um, I think they're more than capable of having some weaker Queen X calls. Hands like Jack 9 might stick around for another one, 10x with the spades. And like, I'm very protected against shoves because like, I have Ace King and King 9, and they don't. Uh, they don't have Ace King, rather. Going for three streets? I don't know about going for three streets. How do we feel about that? Maybe we just bet like half or B60 at the river. Maybe just less. It might be a bit thin. We might cut ourselves here. But if they stuck around with the nines versus the big bet turn, I do think maybe they just get stubborn with a queen nine, queen eight suit or something. So I'll go for three. I don't get it, but I'm up to one of five. Extending the chip lead there is nice. Nice. Miles TV loves this mug. This is one of my wife's favorite mugs. Not necessarily just because it has a cat on, but also it has a cat on the inside as well, hiding there. Look at him, chilling on the inside of the mug. Yeah, there he is. Sadly, but I, I think we play fine. I think we're calling all in on the FT. We've got an open rip of 13. I do still think they induce top and that probably includes ace queen plus. Maybe they shove ace queen occasionally, but a lot of hands will be dominant here. We're gonna go for it. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I should just call this guy behind. It's a flip. It's fours. Big pot. Nine. Jack will do it. Jack will do it. On a repeat king, he bets two blinds and I make an eight. I mean, against him, maybe I just call. I don't like having a queen of diamonds, but I still think I just like for the price. Yeah. boy, dick. There's the jack three. We pick up ten. Stick rock hard's going to shove. We're going to call. Go on then, dick. All right. No, you didn't. Dick. Dick. Tens against fives. Five on the flop for a million chips and to go three-handed. It's a big swing, honestly. 300k. It's a lot of chips. We're still chip leader, but a million three-handed. Don't like losing them. Don't like losing them. 27 blinds on the final table. It's not good to lose a 27 big blind pot on a final table very often, is it? Marley's just sent me a picture of the cat watching the final table. Hi, Chauncey. Hello, buddy. He doesn't understand English. Four bet all in. Look at that. Feel like a uh, check in this one. Got a nice hand to check back with the ace high and the interaction of the straight draw. Not a board we always want to bet. Nine, five, six. Pick up a double gut shot on the turn. We've got a four or an eight, which means that we're quite happy to call. We make an eight with the diamonds. Probably a board where my opponent is like, got a lot of two pairs, a lot of straights or some straights, two pairs, flushes. We'll, uh, we'll probably just call River. Obviously they're gonna have a flush sometimes. I think they should probably take smaller sizing in general as that a position player, since they wanna be able to bet their two pairs, get their two pairs to showdown, probably get some nine X to showdown. I'm just gonna call this, or do I raise? With, with the ace of diamonds in my hand, maybe I, I, I click raise. I don't think I'm ever really worried about getting three bet bluffed and maybe they can bet call some two pair when they make the block. And, you know, obviously I have a decent amount of flushes as well. So it's not like they can just three bet all in the river. I mean, they're not going to they're not gonna three bet all in the river with some fucking, you know, block two pair and turn it like whatever. We end up just having queen jack. And we win. Winner, winner. I'm supposed to defend real tight. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I just should fold. This. Maybe I should three bet it sometimes, honestly. Might be fun. <laughs> now I want to raise. I got two straight draws. I got backdoor diamonds. Now I want to have a check raise. Four's good for me, five's good for me, jack, a king, a diamond. I mean, not great for me, but like we can turn a decent amount of equity. We have the wheel and the Broadway straights and the backdoor flush draw, you know? There it is. And there's, you know, there's a lot of ICM pressure on this stack relative to the others. I'm going to unblock hearts of the river as well, which is good if the if the hearts break. Maybe the, the, they have some flush draws, maybe some 10x of hearts, maybe, you know, king, queen, queen, jack of hearts. I thought for just one moment that I'd made a wheel. Interesting river. I do beat some hearts. I do beat queen jack, king jack of hearts. Uh, I might just shove though. Maybe I bluff some four X on the flop as well, right? I could have ace four, uh, queen four like this, right? Obviously I still have two pair combinations as well. Puts a lot of pressure on a lot of the hands in there, in there, in their range. Go on then, get out. Go on then. One million chips one way or another. Probably want to check in on this one. Remember remember when I did that on the last FT and they called the river because they had the nuts last time and you guys were like, what a punt. I mean, maybe this is a punt that we get away with. But I don't think so. It's kind of a nice run out to give it everything, isn't it? Jacks against King Queen. We are going to lose Dick. Good game. Gets it in with a flip. We are three-handed. So we're guaranteed $963. Not bad. I think either's fine. We're going to see fewer chat raises. I think we can just bet. It's okay. In the multi-way. In the multiverse. Turn being a club would be great. Another green card. Give me the nuts. The best possible combination. Call, call, no club. Pretty bad. Call, call, no club. Pretty bad. Pressure, 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 or take my free card. Honestly, I feel like Zetten will have to start folding ace X pretty aggressively when we barrel. Like, if they get here with ace eight of hearts, and they still have Scaddy to act in the big blind, who already overcalled the flop, and I'm betting again, I feel like they have to fold a lot of ace X here. Like, all of their ace X get indifferent incredibly quickly. So, betting probably going to be pretty good for us if they have to fold, like, ace eight of diamonds, which, you know, almost certainly they will. Which makes this call a little bit more scary because, you know, it's going to be pretty two pair dense or flush dense. The river's going to be a club, which is great. <laughs> An overcall again. This, th to me, this is like very flush heavy. And then now this is like a lot of two pairs. Because I think ace eight of diamonds, ace eight of hearts, etc. is going to fold on the turn. Um, so I think we're seeing a lot of flushes here, honestly. And I think we could see some boats here. So am I bluffing? Am I? Fuck. Flush, boat. Other way around. Very cool. Overcalled sixes with a club on the flop, by the way. Runner outs to the boat against the flush. And the six of clubs when I had the king of clubs in position. This this flop call from Scaddy Vent is unbelievable, really. Then they turn a set and pair the board. Thinking about it. King Jack. Could be going heads up if King Jack wins. Honestly, I'm like, whatever. I'm indifferent. Whoever wins, wins. 
I don't mind taking the chip lead and playing three-handed again, you know. Not too bad for me either way. The deuces will hold. And now I have a pair. Maybe some bet, maybe some check. Definitely going to be seeing a turn regardless. Expect a decent amount of, you know, one big blind stabbing in position. Probably still need to stick around on the turn even without a club. Although obviously it gets a little bit scarier. But a very easy board to find bluffs on. I think we probably have to call one more with a six. It's going to get pretty close to indifferent already though, I think. But not ideal. I think most natural barreling hands are going to have a club in them. Obviously we get to the river with plenty of clubs ourselves. Maybe some better shit as well. So if they triple it off 6-5 on this run out, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Unless you just want to like bluff all in. What ace of clubs do they bet on the flop? Hmm. I don't think they bet many ace of clubs on the flop. Pretty hard to have an ace of clubs in the hand, I think, when they don't ISO pre. They bet the flop. Maybe they have like ace six with the ace of clubs, but I have, a, I have uh, a six. I have the ace of clubs plenty in my range. So I don't think they bet like ace queen with the ace of clubs. I don't think they bet like ace four. Do you? Do you think they can have the ace of clubs very often? And I think they always value bet like the queen of clubs. They have all these hands with the queen of clubs and they're like, all right, I got a decent club, I bet. I go bang. And I go bang. Give me all your chips that you just put in. I have six, five of diamonds. That's hot. They're all in by the way. Ace nine of clubs flops huge. It's gonna get there, Scotty Venn. Makes the nuts, we're heads up. Heads up, me versus Scotty Venn for the trophy. 1,251 guaranteed. 1,832 for the win. That was a nice hand, wasn't it? Six five of diamonds? That was cool. We all enjoyed that. Unless he just calls at the river and everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing, my friend? And I'm like, whoopsie. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, you know, accept that there's gonna be a whoopsie. But I mean, doesn't seem like a line that has much ace of clubs in it, frankly. Wow, he's really opening. He's just, really, what, what year is it? He's just 100% from the button, this guy? What year is it? What year is it? What is this? Wow. Wow. Wow, you're so dominant. 1.1 plays 800k. 55 plays 41 blinds. Very cool, very nice, eh? Very cool, very nice. We're making some hands heads up already. Right. I'm fucking lovely. I'll have a check raise there, won't I? Double check raise. Check. 69 is the sizing. 69 is the hand. As if fate brought these two hands together. I don't think they always bet King-10, but sometimes. I think they bet 8-10 more. I don't think they have 8-10. So, probably call a raise. Just gonna get paid. What was called? They had a six. 1.3. Good, 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 good. We're at depth where I don't really want a three bet call off. Uh, I think I will ISO. The yeah, ISO sizing is big here. Might even be big in this. Might be like 5x, 6x. Am I just in god mode heads up right now? Or what? Obviously, we'd call an all in for 30. But they're not. For the win! They take a smaller three bet. We're going to four bet. 30 BBs. Ace Queen heads up. Yes, please. Yummy. Yummy. What? Oh. Wow, that was god mode heads up for like 10 hands. And we have a new champion! For $1,832. Pretty good. Scotty Venn ran very bad heads up. Obviously gets kings, I mean, ace queen against kings, 30 big blinds, it's cooler. But every other hand, I just had it for like 10 hands. And sometimes that's the way it goes for them. Very unlucky for them. First place finish for us, my friends. A first place finish for us. A trophy to end a pretty rough session. Let's uh, let's come take a look, shall we? Not too bad. Not too bad. There it is. Position first of 198. Prize $1,832. Buy in $55. 198 stepped up. We take first position right there. That's good. It's nice. I feel like we played a nice FT. Thanks for watching. A great time was had by all in the marathon today. That one was for you.